disc automatic, this beat came to me on a stretcher mm. In the lab, I step to the mic and feel like I'm Dexter mm. I'm a man, dark world, but I'm still shining like treasure mm. Yeah, I got joy like ha 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 Wait, and I can't wear smiles, that's fake Then I'm between love and strong Hey, clock says no time for men Stakes, ring the alarm Sirens go off, but I'm calm My life resides in his palm Submit to my pops, respect for my mom Honor and both so my life will be long huh. Third time, get the charm of the third strike Had to What's going on, drivers? Welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper, and I am your boy, Old Snapper. Welcome to the podcast. In this video, we're going to discuss mileage pay versus hourly pay. And I'm going to run the numbers off my last hourly job, which was just a month ago, because I just came back over the road. I'm going to run the numbers on that and compare it to uh, what I made this week, OTR being paid by the mile and which where do i make more money did i make more money at home being paid by the hour or do i make more money running otr being paid by the mile well ladies and gentlemen this video right here is going to settle that now before we get into all that i'm going to break the calculator out and put it up on the screen so everybody can watch but before we get into all that we're going to talk about where i was working at before where I was working at at home is an oil field service company, crane slash crane company that had cranes as well. I made 23 an hour as a truck driver. All right. Now I, I can already hear some of you. There's some of you that live in other areas of the country. You're going to say, well, I make 28. I make 33. I make 45. That's where you live. Trucking companies pay different depending on what part of the country that you live in. You know, where I live at, 23 an hour for just a straight truck driver is about the most you're going to make. Um, you might be able to go up the road and maybe get a job with Coca-Cola making a little bit more. I'm not sure what Coca-Cola is paying. But you're going to work, work your butt off over Coca-Cola to make that money. But I think they're making a little bit more than that. But for a regular truck driving job, that's 23 is about the most you're going to make where I live at within a 50 mile range of where I live. Uh, a good example of that is a few years back, I went and ran, uh, I hauled milk, not in a tanker, but actually delivering it to the stores. I made a salary of 850 a week. That's what it paid. That's it. The only way you could make more was if you sold more milk in the store, you could get a commission off of it. There were only a couple guys there getting commissions because it was really hard to meet those goals. And then uh, another time at home, I ran for Alamo Concrete, and I was a mixer truck driver. I made 16 an hour doing that. Also at home, I ran a roll-off, which paid 22, I think 22 or 22.50. That's been a few years ago. So 23 an hour is the most I've made at an at-home job. And when I was at home searching jobs and stuff when my mom was sick and I was looking for a spot to go, that was the highest paying trucking job I could find in the area that was available for where I live at. So that's what I'm going to compare it to. I can't compare it to uh, $30 an hour running produce in Chicago, okay? I mean, I, I just can't. And I've never worked that job. I don't know what they make. I don't know what kind of hours they're working. I can only compare it to what I did. So we're going we're gonna to run over that. Not only that, but now some of you might say, well, you could move. You could move to where the trucking local jobs pay more. Sure you can. But if you're going to move, you might as well be on the road, right? Because you're going to be away from home, away from your friends and family. you got to go start over somewhere, right? So you might as well be over the road. You know, not only that, but if you want to make more money, I mean, you could just get more skills. Uh, and then you wouldn't have to move anywhere. Like where I live, there's there's five chemical refineries. I worked in them before I started driving trucks. Um a journeyman electrician, an industrial German, journeyman electrician, makes almost $800 a week more than what we do out here. And I can compare that because I'm also an electrician, and I did do that job. I know what they make. And uh, before y'all go asking <clears throat> why I don't do that anymore, it's I've done videos about why I don't do that anymore. And basically, I'll give you the quick rundown. The economy got bad in 2008. I started driving trucks while the economy was bad. I liked it, and I got lazy. I am pretty much useless in the plants. But I did do that job, and I know what they make. And I'm still capable of doing that job if I have to. 
and uh, it's it's about 800 a week more than I make out here on my best week. Um, industrial electrician helpers make a little more than what we make out here. So, I mean, but you're talking about a job that requires quite a bit of quite a bit of thought. You know, I had done a little research and I looked up IQs at one time. I was trying to I was going to do a video on this. And the average IQ of an electrician, just an electrician in general, you got several different types. You got a residential, commercial, industrial. So the average IQ of an electrician is 110, which is a little above average. It takes it takes a little brain power in order to do that job. There the averages on truck driving are broad because you have so many different types of people that drive trucks. You got some people that drive trucks because there are no other jobs in their area. So it ain't like they can't do anything else. They drive trucks because that's all there is. But the, the it ran between 75 and 110 with an average of, I think, 90.6. I'll put it up on the screen here in a minute. Now, before some of y'all get y'all's feelings hurt, you don't have to look around real hard in a truck stop. And you ain't got to listen on the radio too long. To realize there there are some drivers that are not all that sharp. It doesn't take a genius to do this job. You know, literally, let's be honest with ourselves. A trained monkey could do what we do. It is not that hard. That's why I feel really blessed to make the money that I do. And for for the level of work that I actually have to put in to, to make that money. Our job is hard because we, if you're over the road because you spend time away from home. That's where our job is our job is difficult. And that's why OTR companies tend to pay like they do because they're not necessarily paying you for experience so much they're paying you for the sacrifice that you make. And that's the sacrifice we make to make that money is being away from home. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let me get the calculator out and we'll start running some numbers. All right, I got the uh calculator open now and i got my headset on so the audio is going to be quite a bit different my headset picks up my breathing and everything else so it should get kind of creepy here in a second y'all hang on well, anyway i ran 2973 miles times 70 cents a mile that's what i make per mile that comes to two thousand eighty one dollars and ten cents all right now the hours I used was like 62 hours and 40 something minutes. I rounded it up just for simplicity to 63 hours, right? All right, now if I was at home at 23 an hour, which is where, what I was making when I left, I would get 23 an hour for 40 hours, and then I would get 34.50 for everything over 40 hours, right? Because you get time and a half for overtime. So you take 40 hours, times 23 an hour that's 920 dollars in straight time all right now you take 63 minus the 40 i got 23 hours of overtime you take that multiply it by the 34 50 and you get 793 dollars and 50 cents plus the 920 and you come to 17 13 50. All right, that's what I would have made had I been at home and worked the same amount of hours it took me out here to make $2,081.10. So let's take the 281.10 minus the 1713.50. I made $367.60 more over the road than I did at home. All right. And that's comparing it straight up. That's me from my home job, what I was doing just a month ago, to coming back over the road. That's comparing hourly to mileage. All right. So that's that's the deal right there. Now, I know this is running gross numbers. I know somebody is going to comment in the comments and say, well, what about net? I hate when people ask that because your net changes from person to person. My net's not going to be the same as your net. Um, Joe over there's net's not going to be the same as Spencer's net. And actually, if you want to figure net, it's still, it's going to come out quite a bit more than I make over the road because I get per diem over the road. I didn't get per diem at home, you know, 
or I got per diem at home if I stayed overnight, but it was 20 bucks, you know, so it doesn't add up to much. I got a lot more per diem out on the road. I think it's what, $69 a day or something like that. So even figuring net, it's going to be a bigger number than that 367. It's probably going to be closer to 500 more that I make out here over the road than I make at home on my net. But nets vary from person to person, depending on their tax bracket, depending on uh, if they have child support or not. I have child support plus, you know, my tax bracket. So it's going to vary from person to person. All right, let me get back over to the other side. Hang on a minute. All right, welcome back, drivers. Now, these hours that I figured up, when I figured up my hours, I included my on-duty time. That's pre-trips, post-trips, and getting unloaded at the shipper. And if y'all haven't put the calculator to it yet, 29.73 divided by 63 hours is, I think, it's somewhere around, what, 47 miles per hour or something like that. And that's the reason. My truck's governed at 68. Of course, you know, we go up and down. You got towns, you got road construction, and different things like that, right? But, yeah, it comes to an average of like 47, 48 miles per hour. I'd have to put it back on the calculator to find out. But anyway, got the guy next to me, I guess, getting ready to leave. Excuse the noise. But uh, anyway, that is the deal. That's comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges. That's heads up. Same driver, two different situations. One working hourly, one working by the mileage. Mileage for the win. Anyway, I look forward to your comments. I'm sure there will be some interesting ones. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Remember to be kind to one another. And as always, keep trucking.